जंगल का कोई हिस्सा साफ करना होता है तो वो पेड़ों को काटते नहीं बल्कि सब इकट्ठा होके उसे जी भर के गालियां देते हैं उसे कोसते हैं और देखते ही देखते वो पेड़ मुरझा जाता है अपने आप ही मर जाता है दिस डायलॉग गोज टू से लॉट अबाउट द वे इन विच द वर्ल्ड अराउंड अस फंक्शन वर्ड्स लाइक ओवर साइज प्लस साइज गर्वी to the same to the mental health of the people that they are subjected to and what infuriates me is why these labels who is to say what is over or undersized when you are subjected to these words over and over and over again you start to believe that it's the first thing someone sees when they look at you you will become your own harshest critic but it's often not the first thing that someone sees in you it's your insecurities that make you feel that way as humans one of the most joy inducing things for us to do is to dress up look good feel good and go out with our loved ones and yet whenever a similar feat is posed to me i panic so recently when i had to go to a party with my friends i decided to step out of my comfort zone i wore a body con dress but i didn't panic I felt beautiful. I felt happy about the way that I looked. So I sent a photo to my friend. Oh, this is what I'm wearing. What are you wearing? And they made a comment about how I looked too big and my belly pooch was showing. And boom. The confidence was lost. I wasn't so happy anymore. That one comment made so mindlessly ruined weeks worth of efforts it had taken me to instill that confidence in myself with a focus on body positivity and inclusivity increasing around us there are a lot of influencers talking about oh doing this will help you feel better in your own body and stuff like that but i believe these don't help so i stand before you today not to tell you how to deal with your problem but to rather share parts of my own journey because body image is about so much more than just the shape of your body or how a certain piece of clothing looks on you i was called fat in school my roommate was asked to stuff her bra my best friend was asked to cover up better and my cousin was called flat so when our struggles and journeys have been so vastly different how could the source of our comfort be the same there are days when i don't like the way my hair looks i hate my skin on days there are days that where i despise my belly pooch and there are also days when i don't like the way my fingers look but that does not mean that i don't feel beautiful and confident and just like the woman that i want to grow into but let's talk about the week of the party for a little bit i was talking to my parents a few days before then and uh they told me about you know i might need to refurbish my wardrobe a little bit it's been 5 weeks since that call and i still haven't been shopping why you might ask because of those horrifying trial rooms and their mirrors every time i enter that trial room i leave feeling horribly about myself but i've realized why and i made a rule for myself I don't go shopping unless I'm feeling completely comfortable and completely confident in the way that my body is. And that's not to say that I need to be a certain way or thinner or fitter before I go shopping. I just need to be happy and completely in sync with the way that my body is. Because unless that happens, every piece of clothing that I try on will always be too ugly, too ill-fitted, too awkward on me. Because it will be more about the way that i perceive my body than it is about the piece of clothing sounds absurd doesn't it but that's exactly what a distorted body image looks like another thing that anyone who understands body image distortion goes through and something i struggle with my on my own is my relationship with food i'm stuck between eating too much and too little too frequently and too sparsely and these cycles of binging and restricting 
often depend on the way that I perceive my body. It happens so subconsciously. I don't realize that I'm doing it. And there's always purging. On my lowest of lows, it plagues all my thoughts. It's my constant companion. And it takes all of the mental energy that I have to not give into it. But there are also times when I love to indulge in the bliss that junk food gets me. And that is the goal for this year. To eat whatever I want, how much ever I want, whenever I want, without the guilt coming to haunt me later. So yes, I don't want to tell you how to deal with your own problems about your body, but I will share what I did this year for myself. I did two things. I understood, communicated and clarified my own boundaries and I spoke up for myself. The day when my friend made that comment, I called them. I told them it wasn't okay. I spoke up for myself. For the first time in my life, I didn't take it lying down. It was nerve wracking. I was terrified as I did it. But it also felt equally liberating when the next time someone made a comment about my body, that friend defended me because I clarified how I felt. So, I hope that in the coming nine months, you do something for yourself that makes you proud of yourself, just like I did for me. <laughs>